Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is on the 2023 Lexus RZ. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to notify new videos. And if you really like my video at the end, please help me out with thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Alright folks, so why am I looking at the Lexus RZ? Well, Lexus RZ 450e actually is the new EV that's coming out for the Lexus product line. And it's an SUV and it's a battery electric SUV. It has no gasoline dependence or you know no ice internal combustion engine reliance. So that's a big thing. But it does have a lot of features you find in other Lexus models. That's that's the thing. Well one other thing I wanted to point out since the press release came out was it has a direct four. So supports so it more engaging driving experience so direct 4 is also an rx that's coming out as well direct 4 and the newly designed high output electronic axle called e-axle motor continuously contact the drive force of four wheels with high position so i guess you have more control to the four wheels in particular that's all it is and we're just going to browse through the the different pictures and press release that they announced and looking at the front fascia of the vehicle you notice it looks pretty aggressive right and it has a nice headlights and stuff like that but there actually is no opening like a grill or anything like that in particular so and you look at the design between this vehicle and maybe say the rx for example right and you know a lot of similarities but a lot of differences in a way you know because it's all electric a charge port is on the left where the driver is it on the left as well so it's an suv in particular more than anything else and um you're gonna get a lot of the amenities that you find in other lexus vehicles in terms of the safety um you know even the looks are very similar very spacious but one thing about electric vehicles for those folks that never driven one is that they're pretty quiet overall inside I mean, you might hear some tire noise and such of that. Otherwise, it's a great uh, vehicle, you know, but you do have to uh, plug it in to charge it. That's the thing. Okay, so I flew in a concept picture, I guess. And uh, so this one is also um, from Lexus. And seamless motion. It looks like e-motion. And yeah, the vehicle in reality actually is more toned down. You can see that over here. A lot of uh, sculpture lines you can see that also and you can see the it has the little check check mark light or something like that in the front just like any lexus in particular and uh, the overall length is uh 189 inches overall width 74.6 inches overall height 64.4 inches wheelbase 112.2 and one thing to note, you probably noticed that, you know, the sizing is going to be a little bit bigger than, say, the RAV4. Um, and also the width is going to be a little bit bigger. All right, the height is a little bit lower, by the way. And it has, this is the Direct 4, by the way. So it's probably the high-end model you're looking at right here. It's going to come at least in two different models. How I know that? Because... They got two different tire sizes, right? So this is probably right in the 20 inch one, the 20 inch wheels, and it's probably gonna be an 18 inch. So that's the lower end uh, model. The cruise range is stated to be 2 and 25 only, unfortunately, but this is the first release. So don't knock them on that yet. So they're probably gonna release it and improve the range over time. Uh, the battery capacity is 71.4 kilowatt hours. Output is 150 kilowatt and 80, that's for the front, 150 for the front, 80 for the back, right? So I'm sure these numbers are very conservative and, you know, Lexus is going to improve on these. And you can look at comparison, say, to the Toyota BZ4X. That's the other non-luxury model. So that's going to be a little bit more probably more on the, the frugal side and the utility side, I guess. And this is more focused on the luxury side. So yeah, the tail lamp over here is pretty much like a light bar. It follows the theme that Lexus has been using. 
all right, from left to right. And yeah, it's a pretty good looking vehicle for the size. First battery electric vehicle, so from Lexus. And I'm sure it's gonna sell pretty good overall. And a lot of people that don't drive that far, I mean, 225 miles is pretty much enough. And you know, they might you only need about 40 miles for range overall. A quick look at the interior over here. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the interior. You have the latch for the door. You notice that buttons on the steering wheel, just like any Lexus. I'm sure they have a lot of similar amenities like you find saying the RX and such. And it's going to be a nice vehicle interior rise and like any Lexus, very high quality interior at the same time. So you got this button over here. You need to do the shifting with that button now. There's no shift gate on this one in particular. And you have to maneuver the button. And you probably will find this thing on the BZ4X. The Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a lot of other apps that you will find that's gonna be integrated really well with a new system. You got the volume button, you know, right in the center over there. That's a nice thing to have overall. And the maps, well, you know, they update over the cloud. So that's something going to be special. And, you know, fit and finish and the material is always good from Lexus. Um, this is a great vehicle in terms of features and luxury and comfort. And probably reliability is going to be pretty good overall. Um, I'm sure that Lexus is going to improve the range. And you can see, you know, over time, the technology only gets better. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that as well too. You got the, the foam buttons on the left over here and the buttons go up and down. Uh, you can control the dash, all right? And you know, looks like you have the safety controls on the right. Now also you have the temperature uh, for the passenger with a knob. And that's a nice way to control the temperature. There's actually a, uh, volume right under in the middle over there you can see that over there it's a little bit blurred over here and you got wheel vents you also got the hazard light emergency lights when you want to call it and it's a push button start so it's gonna be a very quiet vehicle overall um for a range of 225 you your range probably would vary a lot in the winter i could tell that you're gonna get less in the winter you're gonna get more or equivalent in the summer because you know it depends on the battery type you know and the battery how it performs so keep that in mind if you're buying an electric car the range is different and you know you can see the quality stitching and the seats and the armrest and stuff like that great contrast on the colors as well too so it looks like we seat five passenger in this rz which is really a great size to have in particular and that's the armrest over here and you can see the different color contrast at the same time so it does use this lash system you know it's really for the safety of the driver and the passengers and you know once you get used to it, it won't be a big thing so there's another look with different interior and it's very spacious right you could tell that and it has a moonroof over here and a lot of light goes through so that's pretty much it this uh pre-release on the lexus rz 450e if there are more information come out definitely i will update everybody about that but i just think that the world especially lexus is going to electric and i thought i shared this again Really appreciate a thumbs up. If you have a comment to share, please leave it below. And have a good one. See you next time. Bye.